Hello my beautiful Saggy and welcome to your love reading for early August 2022. I hope you're doing well. Based on the pre-shuffle, I really like early August for you, love-wise. The first card to come out was the Ten of Cups, which is the, the pinnacle card for emotional fulfillment. I feel like this is like a wish fulfillment type of card. You know, leading into August, you know, July might have been problematic for you because I'm seeing um, I'm seeing a bit of a narrative down here. And then finally, you've um, been able to overcome those challenges and you're here. Ten of Cups. I feel like it's the result of you opening up more. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like you're becoming less guarded. You had some time to reflect. So there could have been a period of separation. Um, I'm definitely getting that because of the two of cups in the reverse. It could have been a period where the two of you weren't seeing eye to eye. And um, I did a recent Sagittarius love in separation reading. So this might be a follow on to that. Um, so, you know, the distance enabled you to get some clarity. And I'm seeing that here, Ace of Swords next to the sun. These are two cards about clarity, a breakthrough. Um, knowing what you need to do in order to achieve the happiness that you seek. Having a light bulb moment, an epiphany. Also clearing the air with your person. So I definitely feel after this period of separation, the two of you might have had the chance to really hash it out with each other and get to the bottom of um, what was causing you to feel stuck. We have the devil toxic behaviors that might have been sabotaging this connection um things that were playing on your mind nine of swords there were some definite concerns weighing on your mind about this connection but i feel like um the two of you were able to to talk it through we have the page of pentacles i feel like that's like a bit of a peace offering there's definitely feelings um of being stuck and not knowing what to do um, because we not only have the devil but we have the eight of swords so the devil talks about feeling bound um, the devil talks about again sabotaging behaviors and the two of you couldn't see a way forward um, and that's coming through with the six of swords in the reverse as well but I feel like there was enough love between the two of you, Queen of Cups. There was an, enough love to kind of um, come back together and and um, see what might be done to improve this situation. We have the Seven of Cups. There was a lot of confusion before the two of you sat down and, and hashed things through, hashed things out, Ace of Swords. Um, I don't feel like you were getting to the crux of the issue. Um, things were clouding your judgment. The two of you might have been arguing about things, but not understanding the other person's grievance, if you know what I mean. So there were misunderstandings is what I'm picking up on. Um, let's see. So let's have a look at who you're dealing with in love, Sagittarius. Who is Sagittarius' person of interest, please, in early August 2022? Show me Sagittarius' person of interest. We have um, the Two of Swords. I feel like this person is a bit undecided. Um... They're blindfolded, so they're still not uh, clear on a way forward or a win-win outcome for the two of you. Uh, they don't know whether the two of you are on the same page is what I'm getting for your person. So a bit of a stalemate type of energy here. Show me who is Sagittarius dealing with in love in early August 2022. This 
person um, has a bit of internal conflict. I feel like they're worried um, that um, drama might repeat itself. Um, that page of pentacles in the reverse, there might be false promises and that, that they're confused about whether or not on the long term this relationship is going to make them happy and make you happy. Okay, because we have some cards around discontent, the four of cups, it did come out in the reverse position. So I feel like this person isn't just worried about their own emotional state, they're worried about your happiness and well-being as well. So there's some trust issues with this person. They feel like they've gone through the wars with you. Um, they've got some battle scars here and you know you've got another two so you've got the two of swords and the two of pentacles they don't know how to achieve balance with you they don't know how to emerge unscathed from conflict with you they don't know how um the two of you can move forward together and and reach a compromise together that's what i'm getting because we have the two pages in the reverse as well one of you might be a little bit more practical while the other one could be more sensitive and emotional um, and that could be the cause of you know not seeing things eye to eye um, they're willing to give this time they're willing to to give this time to play out is what I'm getting knight of pentacles they're observing how things are unfolding and progressing and they're willing to continue to invest in this and give it more time is what I'm being shown here. Okay, so let's have a look at what else is going on for you and this person. Show me what is going on for Sagittarius in love in early August, 2022. Yeah, see, star-crossed lovers. That's what I was kind of getting with the two of swords and the two of pentacles. This person can't deny their feelings for you. They want to be with you. They think that you want to be with them, but they're wondering if there's too many things working against the two of you. And they're wondering if it's a case of bad timing. That's what I'm feeling with this person. Maybe they wished they had met you at a different time in their life or they just wished that the two of you were um, kind of more in sync with each other. Angels and Spirit, what is going on for Sagittarius in love? Early August 2022. Yeah. So there's, there's been a bit of instability between you and this person. I'm getting on again, off again energy. Um, they don't want to be trapped in this cycle. This person just wants to find solutions um, and uh, restore balance between you and them is what I'm getting, okay? Look, you tick so many of this person's boxes. They're saying this is good on paper, but for some reason it doesn't translate into the physical. You know, um, we love each other, tick. We've got passion, tick. We want to be with each other, tick. But everything seems to be working against us. Now, one of you or both of you might feel like there's just something missing in this connection and it's causing a few cracks to appear. I'm not saying that, you know, um, there's a lack of passion. I'm just saying there's, there's, there's a lack of glue keeping the two of you together, right? divinely guided which is good at the bottom of the deck it says um trust the process in this relationship you're exactly where you need to be even though the two of you have a lot of differences you can actually make it work you've got the opposites attract card and it's talking about um the two of you learning to complement each other yes you're very different but you know your differences can can be celebrated they can complement each other two of you can make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses okay 
Now, it, it could be that you come from very different backgrounds. That's kind of the visual that I'm getting here. Um, and there's going to be a lot of triggers going on between the two of you. There might be, you know what might be missing or lacking in this connection? It might be um, emotional safety. The two of you might feel um, like you lack faith in this connection because you're not sure how the other person is going to respond to certain things about you. There's so much you can learn um, from this person. That's what I'm getting from this shadow work card. This relationship is triggering you to express your shadow side. There's much that the two of you can learn, but you have to work as a team. The two of you will not be able to um, sustain this connection if it's an us versus them type of energy. The two of you aren't adversaries. You're not against each other you are on the same team so um make sure you're a team player saggy okay this person's come into your life to challenge you and help you grow it's an undeniable connection but how are you able to meet in the middle is what i'm getting from settling in love the two of you shouldn't have to compromise what you really want in order to make this work so you're going to have to communicate um, and um, and see how you can make this work is what I'm getting okay let's have a look at your simple love advice then we'll do the wisdom of the Oracle and then, Saji, stick around to the end and I will pull a couple of work cards for you. Career cards, okay? Angels and Spirit, what is the love advice for Sagittarius in early August 2022? What is the love advice for Sagittarius, please? Hide and seek, show your true self and free the other person to, um, to be their true selves as well. Okay, take off your mask, masks and don't hide behind an image that you think the other person wants to see. Okay, don't hold back, just be 100% yourself so that the other person can um, appreciate you for who you really are. Um, yeah, there's a lack of emotional safety between the two of you and it's causing one or both of you to try and secure this, lock this relationship down. Um, but it's just, it's proof that, you know, the two of you need to learn to trust in the other person as much as you trust in yourself. And only then will you be able to love without worry. So there's a lot of worry in this connection. What if this person finds out who I really am and then they won't love me anymore? You know, um, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Love is a belief deep within yourself and shared with the other person that what you have between the two of you is true. This is genuine despite all of your differences. So enjoy it, cherish it. This kind of love doesn't come around all that often okay Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle cards have for you yeah so the two of you aren't enjoying each other in the present moment one of you is worried about the, the future potential and the other person is stuck in the past so that's what I'm getting yeah so it's causing the two of you to not know where this connection is going. The two of you are on different dimensions right now. Future, past. So meet in the middle, meet in the present moment and enjoy and, and cherish each other. And it's gonna take time, you've got TikTok, okay? So let's have a look at these cards. I'm looking at the numbers. You've got a four, you've got a five, and you have a three. So three, four, five, interesting. There's progression here, three, four, five. 
but it wasn't out, um, it wasn't coming out in that order. So that means some days you might feel like you've you've made progress, and only for the next day to feel like you've gone backwards. So just trust the process a little bit more. You're going to have your ups and downs. Um, five is a number for change. Um, so this connection is changeable. Um, you will need to adjust to certain changes. Number four is the need to build on solid ground. So the need to shore up this connection's foundations. And number three is about creating the type of relationship that you want. Three is about creation. So remember, there's your energy, there's your other person's energy, and then there's the energy of the relationship. How can you um, create something beautiful together um, by combining what you each have to offer? So the relationship have, has to take on its own um, distinct energy, okay? Um, let's have a look at these messages. Here and now in the reverse is asking you to um, stop your mind drifting into the past. You know, it's pointless wondering if things could have or should have been better. So whenever you find yourself longing for the good old days, you're leaking power. And the same is true for looking too far ahead and hoping that the future will provide you with certainty. Driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance and forget that you are here today. The past and the future are illusions. So whenever you leave the present moment, you're disconnecting from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. So you are missing the blessing of this relationship if you drift into the past or into the future. The past nor the future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. Timing. It's going to take time, okay? Now, fork in the road is saying... Indecision is extremely frustrating and will lead to anxiety, loss and confusion. So that's this on and off energy that the two of you have been um, experiencing. So at this point, you can't remain in place without losing your way altogether. Avoid the tendency to let others choose for you, which amounts to a subtle refusal to take responsibility. Don't give your power away, not even to this oracle. By not making a choice, you are making a choice for which you must be accountable, okay? Um, if that choice leads to undesirable circumstances, take heart because spirit never tires of giving you second chances. You can always start again once you've learned this valuable lesson. So there is indecision and uncertainty in this connection, but it's only because the two of you can't um, seem to be present with each other okay um, now let's have a look at TikTok the love message is um, love the fulfillment of desire and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable some things are preordained and cannot be coerced everything has its season its divine and appropriate timing especially when it comes to matters of the heart Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and to receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect, perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. So you know how there were doubts that I was picking up earlier? One of you is feeling like, you know, maybe it's the wrong timing, you're star-crossed lovers, things just aren't seeming to come together. Um, give it time. Okay, give it time. This relationship has so much potential in terms of personal growth and um, mutual desire that I think you need to just, it, you, you need to give this more time. Okay, now let's have a look at, before we look at your work cards, let's see what this person wants to say to you. I feel like this person's very nurturing. They want to come in and support you in all of your endeavors. What do they want to say to Sagittarius, please, in early August 2022? What do they want to say to Sagittarius, please? Dis 
despite what's happening between us, I still believe we could make a great couple in the future. So even though things are unsteady at the moment, um, even though the two of you are on and off and you can't seem to get it together, they do see the future potential. And I do feel like they are willing to see if you can make this work together. I'm going to just let it all out and stop over analyzing things. This person is um, struggling with a bit of anxiety. This person is really um, on the fence because they just want the two of you to be happy um, and they're saying I know I need to make a choice but for now I'm comfortable with leaving things as they are. So things are still quite up in the air between the two of you. One more please. They want to spend some quality time away from the um, daily routine with you. They're saying let's get away for a while and restore our connection. It will do us some good. So they want to share experiences with you and create memories with you. I feel like they're trying to strengthen the bond. Okay, now let's have a look at your work situation. What's going on work-wise for Sagittarius, please, in early August 2022? Okay, um... You've got long term, this is interesting, an opportunity could turn into a long term career move or you'll be asked to commit to a position in, an, in exchange for more money. Okay, so someone wants to lock you down, nice. They see you as an asset to the organisation. Um, there's a need to kind of grin and bear it for now. So there, there could be some unideal, that's not the, the right word, um, less than ideal circumstances at your current workplace, but um, you need to just ride the wave, um, just smile and make nice um, and just, yeah, get through this, this period. Okay, one more please. cultivation you're in the growing phase right now and you must continue to water the seeds you've planted in order to reap the rewards nice okay um i hope this reading was helpful saggy do leave me feedback in the comment section like this video and i will see you guys next time bye